So after the garden, we have what is called an riparian buffer. A riparian buffer is a designated area that is mostly naturalized, so they just let it grow up. Typically, it's full of trees and shrubs and different herbs and plants. This is important because it helps clean the water. So typically, right in the middle there, you can see there's just this little yellow sign on the fence at the bottom there. That is right where the creek is. So that creek goes down and down and goes into a larger creek. But what if that creek, there was something spilled into it? Let's say there was a little bit of, let's, herbicide that was put in the, in the field that's next to it. When it rains, that herbicide runs down and enters the creek. Eventually, that creek will take that herbicide further down into the larger creek. And that is bad. That is not good for the environment. So what we do instead is we create a riparian buffer. This plant, this causes trees and other plants to slow the spread of the runoff. So say we spray the herbicide up in the pasture in the field there. Then when it rains, the water gets washed down, but it hits the trees. And once it hits the trees and the different kind of plants, it will stop the water from going into the creek and it'll take time for, and it will cause the water to seep into the ground. And as that happens, the herbicide starts to disappear and it won't get into the creek as fast. Eventually, as it ev eventually kind of evaporates or goes away, the water that had the herbicide is in the ground and it doesn't reach the creek. So then it won't reach the larger creek and it won't affect the environment. So what this does is we put different trees in there. There's different things including sycamores, there's black willows, there's different kinds of shrubs including spice bush or even kind of little raspberry plants. All these different plants really help clean that water and get rid of all the different insecticides or herbicides. Herbicides are what kind of kills weeds or bad plants, while insecticides kill insects. Typically, they're sprayed on fruits and vegetables or even fields to get rid of pests or weeds that might come into play with the different crop that we're growing. Well, when we're growing different things like tomatoes and the weeds grow up, it interferes with the growing of the tomatoes. So we, so some people spray an herbicide on the weeds so that the weeds can't grow up. On our garden, we do not do that. We keep it 100% organic. We don't want any kinds of different herbicides or pesticides. Those are chemicals we really don't want on our plants. So we keep that clean. But a riparian buffer is a good opportunity to help clean the water from other things. Well, when we drive by on the road, sometimes a little bit of oil or gas will get onto the road. And that will, in this riparian buffer, will prevent that oil for, or gas from getting into the creek. But what we also do is this is a very important kind of wildlife area. So whether it's different kinds of reptiles or amphibians, reptiles are things like turtles or snakes. Amphibians are different things like frogs and toads. They will be part of this because they'll be by the creek. And those are important when if an, if an insecticide or herbicide touches those animals, they will surely die because they breathe through their skin. Things like frogs and toads, they breathe through their skin. And if something gets in their skin, that's not good for them. So repair and buffers are very important areas. They also ha are homes to different animals, including birds. Birds love these because it provides some food for them. It provides cover. But we'll see another area up the tour here that's also very important to some animals.